Hey, what's up everybody? It's the hyphen here. And today I'm going to show you guys how to use Native Instruments complete control software to control third party VSTs and plugins. If you want to use all the features on your Native Instruments complete control keyboards, such as the S series Mark one or Mark two, you want to be able to use the light guide, the scale, the arpeggiator, etc., with third party plugins. This video will show you how. This is also useful if you want to use machine to control your third party plugins. So in order to set it up, you can do it either in your DAW or in complete control software standalone. Here, I'm going to do it on my DAW Cubase Pro 10. So I'm going to add an instrument track and load up complete control. Then from here, you're going to go to the arrow that's near the magnifying glass. So let me show you that I don't have any third party plugins currently working with complete control. Here I can go to my instruments and the only VSTs I have are from native instruments. In order to add third party plugins to complete control on this same menu, go up to where it says edit. And there you'll see preferences. Click on that and then go down to plugins. Here you'll see a list of the plugins that are currently installed into complete control. Click on the location tab and there you'll see the containing folders for those plugins. Go to add and search for it wherever you have your third party plugin. I'm going to load up track God, which I have installed on an external hard drive. Select that folder that contains the actual VST plugin. And then click on rescan. Now this can take some time depending on how many plugins you already have hooked up to your complete control because it's going to do a full rescan of all the folders that are listed. I'm going to fast forward to get to the end. All right, and there you go. Now you see track God has been added to the list. Go ahead and close that. And now when you go to instruments, you'll see your third party plugin. So if I click on that, it'll load up and now I can use it with complete control. So now I'm able to fully utilize the light guide, the arpeggiator, and even assign parameters from the plugin to my knobs and touch strip. So there you guys have it. That's how you use complete control software with third party VSTs and plugins. This also applies to being able to use machine for third party VSTs and plugins. Please make sure to drop a like on the video, drop a comment if you have any questions and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.